chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Minnesota, Ms. Craig, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, years ago, I began running for Congress because I believed that hardworking Americans shouldn't have to pay three times what people in other countries pay for the same exact medicines. I ran for Congress because I believe that none of our constituents should have to pay $20,000 a year on insulin, a medication they quite literally cannot live without. I ran for Congress because I believe that Minnesotans deserve a representative who will fight to lower the cost of drugs, even in the face of millions of dollars in attack ads funded by Big Pharma. My fellow colleagues, this week we have a real opportunity to make a difference in our constituents' lives, to save American families thousands of hard-earned dollars every single year, while standing up, finally standing up, to an industry that has raked in record-breaking profits at the expense of hardworking Americans. We cannot allow this opportunity to pass us by. Empowering Medicare to negotiate drug prices would not only grant long overdue relief to struggling constituents, but save the American taxpayers billions of dollars annually. We may not get everything we wanted in this package, but we must take the power back from Big Pharma. Big Pharma has had way too much power over this town for way too long. This is our opportunity to demonstrate to our constituents that we work for them, not for Big Pharma. We cannot return to our districts without delivering on our promise to lower the cost of prescription drugs. I urge my colleagues to do what is right and fight for these critical provisions in the Build Back Better Act. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back.